Well, it's been a while since uh, I've uh, given an installment of Bennett's Briefs and uh, things that aggravate me. Uh, been having some computer problems and this and that and who knows what all. But anyway, here we go again today. And I want to talk about uh, a situation in a uh, your fishing tackle box that has uh, aggravated me for a, a long time. I like to go fishing every once in a while. I'm kind of one of those, those guys that when you go fishing, it doesn't make any difference whether I catch a fish or not. The whole uh, point of the exercise is just to get out and, and go fishing. But anyway, I still have a tackle box, or a kind of one. And there are aggravations in that little tackle box that I, uh, I have come up with a, a somewhat of a solution with. And I want to share that with you now. So I was talking about a tackle box. I've got a couple of different sizes here. Um, this is uh, this is one I used and have some some items in. And here's some of the aggravations that I'm talking about. Um, little treble hooks. They all wadded up in a mess like that. I have a. I'll show you that in the next in the next deal. And then I've got uh, some straight hooks that are all gunked up together like that. And a few little swivels, different sizes, more swivels over here, and um, not easy to get in and out and, and keep up with uh, on, a, on an easy basis. And so my solution is uh, very simple, it has to do with something that you probably have around the house or can get very easily. It's called a, a safety pin. Now what I do is, I can take this safety pin, ouch, and stick myself with a hook, pick one up, there we go, and start threading them through the eye of the hook onto a safety pin, like that. I may have to put my glasses on. There we go. They're not easy to pick up. There we go. That's one of the reasons this is this is a handy deal. So we get them, get what you have on there, hook it. Now you've got control over this. I can take this now and drop it into a section in my little toolbox. And when it comes time to get it, I just reach in and I grab the safety pin. And their hooks and whatever they're on them and they, it, it is on the safety pin come up. So here's the same thing for these little swivels. And you can separate them out to different sizes and different functions. And that's a little triangle job you see. They don't separate. So get that and that. And I really should have another safety pin, but I've run out of safety pins, as you'll see in a minute. And so there we go. And I've got those swivels together in a controlled situation. And then I've got some more here that are different sizes that I will separate out because I've got some big ones. <coughs> Put those in like that together. Reach over here and grab another, grab another safety pin. Now then I can take these little ones here. Thread them on. Of course this is the this is the slow part, but once you get them on there, I think you will save a tremendous amount of time. And digging through the little sections where they're where they're stored, and trying to get them untangled, and just one at a time up, put them together like this. Put them on your safety pin, and there you have them. And they're together and uh, manageable. Yep. Miss this little group right here. There we go. So now, ow, either stick myself with the fishing hook or the, or the safety pin. <laughs> Alright, 
So now we've got that little bit of stuff under control and we can put them right back in there. Like I say, when you go in to grab something, you get the whole thing. All you have to do, undo your safety pin, get one off, put it back, and there you go. Treble hooks. They're always wadded up, stuck together, and whatever. And, I, uh, and they stick to you. But one thing I have discovered is if you're on a, you get a hard surface, which may be difficult to do like this, have a surface like this in the boat, so you do this ahead of time and get set up. You pick them up like this, drop them on a hard surface, and look here, they separate out. And then you can take your pin, thread them on, And the reason I'm turning it, I've got them all, that makes them all be pointed the same direction. And there we go. Now you got these little bit of treble hooks under control, which is what you want. And then when you put them back in your little box, or big box, or whatever size box you have, shake them around a little bit, they fit right in your slot. And then when you want something like a, like a treble hook, you just reach in, grab the safety pin, unlatch it, pull one off, put it back. And there you are. And that's that one. This is my little bit bigger one. And I've got all kinds of things here. This is a deal I copied from uh, another report that I saw about how to, how to get a little bait on a treble hook and stuff a little bit better, but that's already on the internet. <coughs> We'll look at this here in a minute, and like I say, I've got several different ones of these groups of uh, treble hooks. I don't know why I have so many, but that's just the way when I bought some stuff, it worked out. See, and here's, a, here's another aggravation. I dropped it in another slot. I have to move stuff out of the way to get to it. However, again, wad it up. Here we are on a hard surface. Drop it. Ones that are stuck together, drop it a time or two, and they just separate out, just like that. Interesting, isn't it? So, I've got these. Let's, let's just put these back over this way kind of a little bit. And I've got that batch of hooks to do. I've got this batch of hooks. I don't know why I came up with so many treble hooks. But I've got that batch I can do. And here's some little special ones that have springs on them. I'm not sure about those. I'll have to work with these. Alright, so I'm going to put these all together on a... On a safety pin right quick and I'll get back with you in just a moment. Alrighty, got all my treble hooks uh, lined up, put together in order and even like that they can still get kind of tangled a little bit but anyway trying to make sure I hope I haven't got everything out of the line up. Put that right there. Okay, here we are. Got those <coughs> organized. <clears throat> and here are a couple other things that I have, have uh, started using pins for. Here I am trying to get these uh, weights out of here. And this is kind of what you have to go through when you're when you're digging around for these things, which makes it, you know, not the most convenient thing in the world because what I'm going to do won't work with uh, with that type of weight. However, the little weights that uh, have the loops on them. and if you get really carried away with it you can do, I've got a couple of different sizes here, you can do different sizes on on a different uh, different pin but these will line up on here also I'm still going to have to get my glasses on in spite of everything. There we go. That's got most of them. Okay, and so there's your there's your weights that have the loops on them. And they're stored on a pin, and they'll drop in just the same. And one more. One more thing that really, really can be aggravating is you buy a set of, uh, or a set, a package of leaders and you go to use them, and of course they're scattered, set up all over the place. However, if you've got to take these things, 
stiff. Stretch them out more or less by size. Help a little bit. See, this is what you have to put up with coming out of your paddle box for these things if you're not careful. Even if you're careful, they still can sometimes do that. Ooh, there's a there's a crappie double. Oop, no, that's just hung on itself. Yeah, I'll worry about that one later. That's not that's not part of the demo. So here we go. So now I've kind of got these separated out here a little bit where I can see what's what. So I get my get my pin. Loop that, and loop that, and kind of do it by size again. If you got enough safety pins, you can just totally do them by size. Or I just kind of stretch them out here all together, and then I can come back in and uh, pick out the one I want when the time comes. And there are my little leaders in a controllable situation. And I like to keep them in this little Ziploc baggie. So I get that open and picked up. Kind of roll them up in a little roll them up in a little circle. Drop them in there. And instead of just springing out all over the place, they're held in place by that safety pin. So that makes it handier to be able to control them. Of course, when you need one, you pull the whole thing out, but with that safety pin on there, you're, uh, you're in control instead of them flopping everywhere. So that's, uh, that's a couple of things that uh, I've been coming up with to think about and maybe help a little bit. Safety pins in your, uh, in your tackle box for things that have the loop on them. Well, there you have it about uh, fishing tackles and lures and hooks and stuff that will be organized a little bit better with a, with a safety pin. Like I say, aggravations. Uh, I hate it when I get aggravated about something. I want to figure out a way to, to be not aggravated. So, uh, Bennett's Briefs, what you're listening to, looking at, and I hope this is uh, interesting to you. If so, be sure and check the like button down below and uh, subscribe. Who knows when I may throw another another video out there. I have a list of several things to talk about and uh, little videos to make up and slowly but surely I'll get them thrown in. So like I say, click the like button, subscribe, and just remember life is short. We're here just a short time, kind of like the mail, mail bragging out there wind, out the window that I see there. You never know what time that guy's going to show up. But anyway, we're here for just a short time. Then we're gone.